We are ready to go with round one here. Big kick. Nice one, two there to get her night started. Big elbow there, Lance. Just unable to quite find that range. Big oh. knee lands there. Oh, straight right. Dig and kick. And there comes the separation now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. So once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our oh, she's going to hurt. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, big knee. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Liver kick. Nice kick. Back and forth we go here. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Continues over under here on both sides. 50 50 position. Who's going to win? Who's got the will? Who's got the determination to go score from this very, very even situation? Seconds winding down in the opening round. Round two next. Take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick. So why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws it. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to be. I don't know why it will change. I don't think that her opponent has received the advice that she needs to make the necessary adjustments. She will go out there and start doing the same exact thing, which will in turn put her right back on the receiving end of those nasty kicks. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Calderwood. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Well, back to her feet here, but man, is she hurt. Whoa! Oh, big left. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one-two-three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be calm. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Wow! Oh! Unbelievable. Oh, she left at her and lands the diving punch to the head. Oh, she's got the full mount now, DC. Her ground and pound is fantastic, and maybe that'll open the door for a submission. It will have to open the door, because if she rushes, she'll fall off to the side. In the top position, especially in the full mount, you've got to be very, very patient. You cannot rush. Everything needs to matter, because it won't take much. You're sitting on the person's chest, or sitting on their hip, fully on top of them. It won't take many of the big ground strikes. Take your time, find your submission. To do that. Punch, punch, punch. When their opponent gets desperate, latch onto an arm, go and attack that arm ball. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has. Oh! Not sure she could have drawn it up much better. Just a beautiful strike to end the fight for her opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that flush shot coming. So this is exactly the way she drew it up. She told us during fight week that she had to find a way to finish this fight, to send a message to the rest of this division. Message sent. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 37 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, there she is. And you